Hey Scott, how's it going? I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah, okay. not in the best day, but... Oh yeah? Doing okay. So, you're not having the best day? What What's going on? Oh, well, I just, I can't afford to pay for school. You so can't I, afford it? So, I have to drop out. Oh, that yeah. sounds stressful. So, when you say you can't afford it, like, what do you mean? What's, what's going on with that? Um, well, I just, I can't, you know, pay rent anymore. Um, I know that this next term, I'm going to have to fork out the money. And uh, my parents said they're no longer helping me, or no longer can afford to help me. And so, I'm just figuring I, gotta, I have to drop out. I mean, there's no way that I can pay for school. Oh, wow. So, your parents, they don't want to help you pay for school anymore? Well, I think they would, but they just can't afford it. My dad lost his job. Um, and so my mom, we're, they're now living on one income and there's three other children at home. Three of my, two brothers and one sister. Okay, I see. So they're no longer able to help you with the finances? Yeah, yeah, but I just talked to my dad last night and, and he was like, no longer can help you, sorry. And so, just today I woke up and realized that I probably have to drop out of classes and move home, I guess. Wow, yeah, that sounds stressful. Yeah, I'm just so, I don't know, higher education is so expensive. I don't understand why it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it's not cheap. Have you thought about, like, maybe some other options that you could do to pay for it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know a lot of options. I, I'm working right now um, part-time, and so and that's as much as they can give me is that, um, I'm working, I think, 10 hours a week um, for the Campus Visitor Center doing tours. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, that only makes enough barely to get food, um, not pay rent and that kind of stuff. And then paying for my car, um, have a car payment. That, I love my car. The car's amazing. Uh, it's a, a Toyota 4Runner, um, 2004. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it sounds like you've got a lot of stuff going on and that little job doing tours just isn't going to cut it? Yeah, I don't think it is. Um, it's definitely not going to pay for tuition next term. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and like I said, I, uh, I don't know, I, I mean, I, I, I read a story about this kid at Duke sleeping in his van, so I'm like, well, maybe I could sleep in my Toyota 4Runner, because um, I have to pay for that, so I'm paying for my Toyota 4Runner and rent. Uh, and that's all alone, so I have to pay that off, and so it's like maybe I'll move out of my apartment and live my Toyota 4Runner. Yeah, so it sounds like you've been really thinking about like some ways to make it work, so are you like, you really want to stay and make sure that you can complete your degree, if you can? Yeah, I would, but I just don't know how. I mean, I just, it's so expensive. Um, yeah, I don't know where to, I don't know what to uh, how to pay for my bills. I don't know how to pay for rent. Um, I'm paying like two hundred fifty dollars a month for my car. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't want to take out student loans because I've heard that they're they're bad. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know how people do it. Honestly, I don't. All these people are graduating this year, and I'm like, well, how did you do it? But yeah. So you said that you've heard that student loans are like bad. What do you like? What exactly have you heard? What do you mean by that? Oh, I just heard that uh, people graduate and they can't pay off their loans, and they have to move in with their parents in their basement, and um, and then they're in debt, and then they default on their loans, and they have bad credit, and they can't buy anything anymore. And um, I just had a friend that went through that, and so um, I was just like, oh well, I don't want to get those because I mean, I have to pay them back and. I don't want to move back in with my parents after I graduate. I mean, I'm, I probably have to today because I, mean, I have no money to continue. But I mean, I don't want to, after I get a degree, I mean, wants to move back in with the parents. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely understandable that you wouldn't, you know, that's a lot of stress that comes out with and responsibility that comes with taking out those loans that, you know, sometimes, occasionally it can turn into a bad situation where you might have to live with your parents or something like that. Um, so I can see how that would be um, worrisome.
Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I have student loans. Well, I, I don't have student loans, but I, I haven't really looked at them. Uh, and I have my car payment, and then I guess my rent is pretty expensive. Living in a nice place. Um, have my own room, actually my one-bedroom apartment. Uh, and so, so I consider my one room because it's a studio apartment, but it's pretty expensive. It's like $600 a month. I'm yeah. paying for that plus $250 a month for my car payment. And then, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so it sounds like you know, you've kind of got a good setup for you that's comfy for you. Have you thought about maybe like some ways that you could maybe cut back a little? Like, you could consider getting a roommate or something like that? Yeah, um, my lease is actually up at the end of this term um, because it's the summertime. Uh, and so I've, con I've considered that, but I just, I don't know, I I've never really lived with, I'm the only child, I've never really lived with, oh, I'm not the only child, I have a two brothers and sister at home. <laughs> but I've never shared a room with someone, you know, and so it's just, I don't know, it, it was, it's weird, I guess, but I definitely thought about it. Um, I just automatically assumed that I'd just come back to this apartment, or if I came back to college, I'd come back to this apartment, but... Maybe I should. Yeah, I think, I mean, you can definitely save some money that way. And it sounds like it would be a new experience, but maybe that's something that you can think about doing. Yeah. Do you know where I could go to, like, figure out where to find a new place? Because that was the hardest thing to in. And that's probably why I just wanted to sign another lease if I stayed. Mm -hmm. It's just so hard to find housing. Yeah. And you want to live off campus? Yeah, yeah, I do. That's where I live off campus right now. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I think a good resource for you might be um, the UH, the U, no, <laughs> RHSC. Have you heard of that? I have. What does that stand for? The hell is that? It's like Human Resource Center. <laughs> um, but basically, they offer um, a lot of opportunities. Um, for helping out students that are struggling with um, financial, you know, issues, so they might have some opportunities for you to talk to them and see if they could possibly help you out with some of that housing um, side of things, at least. Um, and then, you know, you might want to consider talking with financial aid about your about possibly taking out some loans. I know that's something that you were a little bit worried about. But I think that if you really got to hear about, you know, what the rules are, um, I think it would be at least give you a better idea of what's out there. Because, like, I heard your friend had a bad experience, but not everyone does have a bad experience with loans. Um, and I would say most students fund at least part of their education with loans. So. Yeah, I guess I could do that. I don't know. I'm really, I really want to pay for it on my own, but. I'm not getting this pickle. Do I get a degree and get debt, or do I don't get a degree and don't have any debt? And so, mm -hmm. you know. yeah. And I think you know, depending, there's a lot of options for loans out there. So depending on what you get, a lot of times it can be pretty affordable. You know, if you have that job that you might not necessarily be able to get without a degree. Mm -hmm. Oh man, darn money. I know. Do you feel like you have maybe some ideas of where to go from here? Uh, yeah, um, you mentioned some human resource place to go talk to, mm -hmm. and then uh, financial aid. Um, I honestly don't really know where those are at. Uh, yeah, so um, the HSRC <laughs> is um, in Snell Hall, you know, the blue building. Right over oh, the ugly the turquoise one that has the rats. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Where counseling psychological services are. Yes. Um, so they are uh, on, I think, the third floor there. Um, so if you take the elevator up, um, that's where their offices are, so you can talk to them. And in spite of the fact that it's an old crappy building, they're really welcoming, so they make up for it. Um, really awesome people to talk to there. And then financial aid is actually in um, Kerr Administration Building, you know, the, the big kind of black and brown building on the corner of Jefferson and 
15th, 13th? 13th. Um, so they're on the third floor of Kerr. And so um, with the financial aid office, you might need to make an appointment, but I think that HSRC can just walk in and um, find out at least some kind of preliminary information. Okay. Um, I need to check my clock real quick. I have a class that I have to oh, get okay. to in a yeah, little bit. But make sure you're just double check it here. All right. Um, yeah, well, that sounds good. I, I have, uh, I mean, so I mean, I guess we we'll go to financial aid and maybe talk to them about loans and then go to the housing and then maybe I don't have to live in my car. Yeah, I mean, I think that would probably be a better option to maybe find some other ways of funding some housing. Yeah. My dad wants me to sell my car mm -hmm. because he's says that I can buy one for a lot cheaper and then I'll have to loan on it and that would save me money and buy Right. But I don't know. What do you think? Um, you know, I think it just kind of depends on what, you know, do you think it would be beneficial for you? You know, do you, is it something that you use a lot? Yeah, well, I mean, no. I mean, I, I honestly hate trying to find parking on campus and so I use it to go home and back. Um, but I like it to, to you know, impress other people sure, yeah. that I have a four-wheel drive Toyota 4Runner that I could take off-road if yeah. that's impressive to people but I I mean I don't want to really use it besides driving home yeah. um, and so I mean I park it a lot and then I just walk or take my bike mm -hmm. well I think that you know I mean like you said it, it's fun to have a car and sorry a that's my uh, <laughs> just uh, alarm that was you have your no class more. to get to soon? Yeah, just in three minutes. Okay. So, okay. yeah, I have a class to get to in three, three minutes. Okay. But. Um, well, I would consider, you know, maybe talking to your dad more about it. Maybe, like, weighing, weighing the pros and cons of having the car, um, with your financial situation. But, you know, ultimately that choice is going to be up to you. I know. Sometimes I wish I didn't buy it, but it impresses people. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure it does impress some people. Uh, so, um, <laughs> I think, though, that your personality impresses people more than your car does. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, then I'll go to the Snell Hall, talk to the HR people, and then um, to the financial aid people. And you said that they're going to talk to me about student loans, because that's one thing. I don't know how to get them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can definitely help you um, with filling out. Basically, you would need to fill out um, a FAFSA, and so they can help you with that in order to get um, government loans, which are probably going to be your best option if you're able, if you're eligible for those, because they have lower interest rates and are generally safer, and you know probably won't get you in some of those situations like your friend had. Um, and then if not, they, they can also walk you through the process of maybe getting a loan from a private bank. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate so, it. Have a great day, and I wish you good luck, and just, you know, here's my card, so let me know if you have any other questions, or you want to talk about it, so. Yeah, we will do. Great. Have Thanks. a good class. You too. Thanks.